in a startling twist to the Sheena Bora murder case, her mother and key accused Indrani Mukherjee has now told a CBI court that her husband Peter Mukherjee may have caused her daughter's disappearance out of greed and ill will. Though she did not obviously accuse uh, Peter directly, Indrani said that he and their former driver Shamwar Rai could be behind her abduction, making her untraceable and destroying evidence. Manipulated uh, the circumstances to frame her and influence witnesses and situations that actually led to her arrest. Well, Saurabh uh, joins us on the phone line for more. And Saurabh, uh, you know, it, the entire case seemed pretty clear cut according to uh, what the driver gave in evidence and, uh, you know, various accounts. But now, uh, Indrani Mukherjee, uh, you know, causing this massive twist in the entire case. Well, yes, uh, in fact, uh, the trial has been going on for a while now in the CBI court. And there have been several instances where the defense of Peter Mukherjee and the defense of Indrani Mukherjee have taken separate stands in court. But this one seems to be uh, something that can be described as a major twist. And, uh, and this is, of course, Indrani Mukherjee, who is the prime accused in the case, uh, now uh, accusing Peter Mukherjee. In, uh, um, in a way, and Peter Mukherjee of course always maintained that he believed what Indrani Mukherjee told him all along about the disappearance of Sheena Afra. Indrani Mukherjee was arrested uh, in, 26, in, in uh, a few years ago, and of course uh, at that time Peter Mukherjee was also there at Marlow, uh, the, the bungalow where uh, you know Peter Indrani was picked up from. Uh, the case, of course, made headlines even then, given the fact that not only uh, the details of the brutal murder that emerged, but also about the people who were involved. Uh, and uh, at this point, it seems like a major twist uh, in the case. Uh, but there have been occasions in the past where Peter Mukherjee and Indrani Mukherjee's different lawyers have taken contradictory stands. Right, but sort of how seriously are these? is this uh, allegation of hers being taken, this uh, new version of events that she's given? Well, given the fact that the matter is at the trial stage, everything depends on evidence and how seriously it is considered by the judge is something that would be known once we actually get to the end of the case. And whether the judge actually allows the uh, you know, call data records to be handed over or not is something also that remains to be seen. Uh, if, if the judge actually allows the call data records to be handed over to Indrani, uh, then, of course, uh, in in some way, uh, Indrani actually uh, has her way because of the request that she's made in that letter where she's actually accusing, uh, accused number four, Peter Mukherjee, of, uh, act, uh, you know, in, in indirectly, uh, is handing over a call data record of Peter Mukherjee. So one remains to, uh, it remains to be seen if the court actually allows those call data records to be handed over or not. Right. All right, uh, Saurabh, thanks so much for joining us uh, with all those developments.